Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to put a range with data into an array variable in Excel VBA. And we will also see how to put only a column or only a row and how to convert a two dimensional array into a one dimensional array. So this is gonna be a two dimensional array, but if we want to have a column, we need to somehow convert the two dimensional array into a one dimension. So we're gonna see all of that in this video. So let me now go to the Visual Basic Editor. And the first thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is to have the range, the whole range into put into an array. And if you are new to arrays, this is gonna sound a little complicated. So please go back to the tutorial for beginners. There is a full video about arrays that will give you the basics. I think it's video or chapter number seven in the tutorial for beginners. I'm gonna leave the link up here. Now let's call this range to array. And we could be looping through the data and adding to the array, but it's not necessary. In Excel, it's very straightforward. We can have uh, the array simply, well, let's declare it. Let's declare our array and, and let's declare it as a variant. And it's gonna be a multidimensional array. We've learned before that usually when we declare a multi dimensional array, we add the parentheses here, but in this case, it's not necessary because we're gonna use another way to build the array. We're gonna just get the value in the range. So our array is gonna be equal to, let's say we want to target range A1 or in, the, in sheet one, the used range. Dot value. So this is gonna put the used range in this worksheet, which is this range, into this array variable. So if I run this and let me stop here to show you in the in the locals how this is gonna look like. So you see here we have array, our variable that we have defined here, which is, is actually an array. And this is how it looks like after adding the the data from the range. So you see it's is it has two dimensions. The first dimension, then we use the drop down and we see the second dimension. One, one, it means row one, column one, ID number, right? Row one, column two is the username, is, is over here, and so on, right? It's always row first, column next. And then if we want to start to, to see the data, so here we see the data for uh, for the first first row and up to, of course, 16 rows. But this is a two-dimensional array, so I'm gonna call it R2D, okay? It's a two-dimensional array. You will see now in a moment why I want to call it R2D. And we can now get data from this array. Uh, simply, let's say we want to get just one um, data point, that would be specifying the row here. Let's say we want to have five for column one, and this will give us the ID number for user in row number five, right? We, I've shown that already in the, in the other video, in the tutorial for beginners. You have a look there if you don't know how to navigate. You can use a, a, a for loop, a loop, a for loop or any other loop, of course, to navigate all the uh, rows in a, in a particular column. So if you want to go through only column one, you would go rows one, two, or two to 16. Then you would say, I want to get the, the username, for example. So the username is in column two. So we would use row R, column two, and this would give us the, the each of the users. But, and this is, now, I'm getting now to the next point. We're going to get, so these are all the users over there, right? I'm navigating through the array for column two. So now, if we want to put the list, the names of the users or the IDs, so just one column in this, in this into an array, there are, there are a couple of ways to do it. And, it's, and, and I'm going to show you in this video both of them. So we could use the, the, the loop as well, right? So, but what if we just, instead of targeting the whole range, why not targeting only uh, that column? So let's do that. 
Now we're going to have the column to array. And you will realize that we need to do something else because and now I will call it simply array. And for the use range, we're going to target only columns two. That's the column with the, with the users. And if we do this, as you will see now, we get also we get also a two-dimensional array, despite we only have one column. So we cannot really treat this as a as a one array of values because it's also two-dimensional. So we need to convert this two-dimensional array into a one dimension because we only have one value per per line. So how how to do that? There are there are two ways. The traditional way to do that is, is using a loop. So so this is a 2D array again, so that's why so I'm gonna put again that's a 2D array if we do it this way, right? And we want to convert it to a 1D array. So we can call it 1D. And the easier way is if we know exactly how big it's gonna be. Because otherwise we need to use redeem. I'll, I'll show you that later maybe or, or maybe in some other video. But let's say we know this is gonna go or from one to sixteen. 1 to 16. So then we would look for our 1 to 16 and our new 1D array for R would be our 2D R comma 1 because it has only one column. Here it was 2 because we had the whole range uh, in, in the two-dimensional array with four columns. But now we have only um, we have only target this column here. So this two-dimensional array in this other macro, it has only one column. So we put number one. So this will put now will create a new array, but only one dimensional. So we have converted the two-dimensional into a one-dimensional array. This is one way to do it with a loop. So let me put a stop here and, and, and run it. And then I'll show you our array now. So we have the 2D as before, and now we have the 1D. It's just a one-dimensional array with the names. So now it's easier if we just want to work with the names, it's easier to work with this, uh, this array now, right? Array 1D. But there's another way to do it, and actually this can become a little more complicated if we don't have, if we if we don't specify how big is the array. So let me put here using loop. But there's another way to do it using transpose. And this method has the main advantage that we do not need to redimension the array and we do not need to have a loop. Redimension, I've shown already that in the tutorial for beginners, how to use redeem. But imagine you don't know if it is 16 lines or, or it is. So you would leave that empty. You would then get the number of rows, number rows, for example, with you bound off the array, then you, you could have here the number of rows instead of 16. It, it, we know it's 16, but let's say we don't know how, how long it is. And then, of course, this would prompt an error because we didn't declare we would have to redeem um, the array 1D to number of rows. Oh, let me pause here. So now we get the same result, but we've used redeem to have a dynamic. That's how you do it. So now it gets a little longer and a little more complicated. So I'm going to show you another way to do it that you don't need to go through all of that. And that's with application transpose. So we could have array 1D application transpose array, the two dimensional array. So here we are converting a two-dimensional array into a one-dimensional array, just like that. Let me comment all of this now. And if I pause here again, run it, you see we have, well, of course, we have our two-dimensional array with the two dimensions. And then we have our one-dimensional array created right away just with one line of code. Now, we have got the column to array, but we could also get the rows. Um, 
in the same way, let me put it down here. If we want to put the row to array, there's just a slight difference. We would again get here, I'm just copy pasting this because we would get um, now instead of columns two, we want, let's say we want to target rows one or whatever row you want to target and we want to get the row into an array. Row one is the headers for this table. Let's say we want to put that into, into an array, right? So array one now is, we need to use application transpose and transpose again. So that's the, that's the trick. And here's where we have our 2D array. So that's how we create this one. Let me show you now how that looks like. And here we have, now we have, of course, our two dimensional array here with only one row and four columns. And we have converted that into a one dimension array, you see, with the headers for each column. And of course, now we can navigate either here with the, within the column or here. We can navigate that array very, very easily with a for loop for, let's say, C, because now we, are, we have columns here, one, two, four. We know it's one, two, four. Or we could get, of course, the total number of columns in that array with U bound. And then we go from one to, sorry, one to calls, to the number of calls. And then we can get each value in that array. With the index for, for each element, right? So here we are displaying each value. There are only four headers. So we are displaying each in a message box, the ID number, the username, the address, uh, access type, and the date. So that's how we put a range into an array, and that's a two-dimensional array, and how we convert a two-dimensional array into a one-dimensional array to have the list of, uh, of data in a column or in a row, and then handle such data in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.